Who's Good Potato? Spin the Leak here, and this 1988 movie blew me away when I was young, and I fell in love with it again just now. We're talking about Halloween 4. I believe that's the return of Michael Myers. Yep, it is. Now, they switched the final girl in this one, uh, and they pretty much killed off Jamie Lee Curtis's character, which is odd because she appears again uh, after the next movie. But, um, there were a lot of excellent movie, uh, a lot of excellent moments in this movie. Sorry, I'm, I guess I'm a little tired. Um, everything from Miltai's drunks, taking out an entire police station, fighting in the back of a moving truck, Malcolm Myers did it all. My favorite part, though, is that man-stealing bitch gets rammed into a, well, pinned to a wall with a fucking shotgun. He doesn't fire it, he literally stabs it through her and into the staircase. Don't worry. That cheating son of a bitch got his, too. I think he crushed his skull and neck. I mean, in this movie, he even goes as far as to almost rip a guy's head off with one hand. It's, uh, it's brutal. Now, the brutality is awesome. There was a lot of gun use in this, unfortunately. Um, I'm not gonna down them on that, because the times they used it, it was just comical. It was just showing how fucking terrifying Michael was. It was only to emphasize that. It wasn't for the sake of brutality. I mean... Guns Against Michael Myers, that's basically just a fart in the wind downhill, you know? That's... <laughs> um, yeah, no, this time around he was after his niece, Jamie, and um, it's basically a movie about Michael chasing around a little girl while uh, killing off everyone fucking around her. Um, <sighs> the next one is gonna be... It's gonna be the fifth, The Revenge of Michael Myers. I'm looking forward to that because... Uh, the ending of four, it's an old movie, I'm not afraid to spoil it, um, but spoiler, right here, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, the end of the movie, she pretty much takes up the mantle that Michael left behind. Uh, when he was young, um, the original murder of his sister, he was wearing a clown costume, he stabs her uh, after she gets done fucking her boyfriend, and is found by his parents, immediately sent to a mental institution. He is roughly the same age. Well, no, Jamie is now roughly the same age as he was. Um, and the movie ends with her dressed in a clown costume, stabbing her foster mother with a pair of scissors, and being seen by Michael's doctor, the sheriff, and her family. And the doctor's reaction was fucking priceless. It just is straight up, no, not another one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that... I'm still cracking up from it. Uh, yeah, you gotta love Donald Pleasance. Um, anyway, this movie is by far the best out of the entire franchise that I've been able to see. This is... You can't really compare it to the first. You can't compare any movie to the first version of it. Um, the first is always the best because it's new, it's fresh, it's the original. Everything else came from it. And it'll always have that little stance, even though I gave it a lower ring that I'm going to give this one. This one gets four potatoes, strictly because of the execution. Even the off-camera kills, you knew were fucking spectacular, and they saved it. And once you start paying attention, Michael's body count is fucking ridiculous. Um, I... I <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I mean... He killed, well, he killed roughly 15 or 16 people. The cops killed another one thinking it was him. Um, in the first one. In this one, kind of no fucking telling. Um, let's see, there was... Shit, immediately he kills four people in an ambulance. Three people at a truck stop. Well, it was like two or three people I turned up. Let's just say six people. Let's just say there's six people before he even gets home. Before the movie even really kicks off. And then there's the kill count from there. He hasn't even fought the guys in the back of the truck or wiped out an entire fucking police station, leaving only the fucking sheriff. Let's mention those fucking teenagers, dude. Um, damn. Four potatoes. Four motherfucking potatoes. Same, same number in the series. That's the amount of potatoes it just got, okay? I I love this fucking movie. The fourth one has... 
it's always been fucking excellent. And from here on, it's just going to get crazy. Um, I will go ahead and warn you, though. Uh, if you think my reviews are going to get better on the Halloween franchise as I get further along, they're not. This is like a cut above the rest right here for me. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the Rob Zombie ratings are probably going to be low. Um, anyway, Four Potatoes, have you seen this movie? If so... Tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below. Are you planning on watching this movie? Definitely recommend it. And all the others, even three. Um, definitely post whatever you have to say about that in the comments down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Keep on keeping on. I will see you in another video. It's not strong enough for me to hit the stop button with this. I was trying to be funny, but uh, I kind of failed. All right.